The number of schools experiencing COVID-19 outbreaks has now tripled in the last week as the vaccination rate among teenagers remains lower than it is among adults. But one of the schools on that list is Edison High School in Minneapolis. Educators shifting to distance learning, in fact, this week because of that exposure. Fox News' Courtney Godfrey is outside the school tonight with more on this. Courtney. Yeah, Randy, well, here at Edison High School, we're learning went completely back online after it was reported that more than two thirds of the student population was exposed. And while we don't know what that every school on this outbreak list had an outbreak this bad, we do know that about 100 schools across Minnesota have at least five cases. Only a few weeks into the school year and COVID-19 is already an issue. At least 95 schools across the state are reporting outbreaks of five or more cases, and many doctors believe that number will only rise. We expect this. When we get kids together, and particularly our 5 to 11-year-olds who aren't vaccinated, together in a place, we think and expect the virus to spread. Dr. Krishnan Subramaniam with Hennepin Healthcare looks back to April when cases were also rising in schools, peaking even higher than we are now. But still, he says watching the number of schools on the outbreak list triple in just one week is concerning. Now, we know that there are huge benefits of, of being in school, uh, but I think it then becomes incumbent on all of us to take the precautions we can. The Minnesota Department of Health says with the end of the peacetime emergency July 1st, they don't have the authority to step in with school mandates, and some districts have decided not to require masks or social distancing. In the hospital setting, Dr. Subramaniam says they're treating more kids for COVID today than at any other point in the pandemic. And with outbreaks happening not only at elementary schools where kids can't yet be vaccinated, but at plenty of metro high schools as well, he makes yet another push for the shot. If I had a 12 year old right now, that's the first thing I would do is seek out my pediatrician, uh, seek out my provider and, and get vaccinated so that we can we can limit the spread as much as possible. The Minnesota Department of Health also reporting today that in the first two weeks of school, there have been two school staff members across the state that have died of COVID-19. The state would not tell us whether those individuals were vaccinated or whether transmission occurred in the school building. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.